Of the parts you see here, the hardest thing to find is going to be the enameled wire. You can buy it on Amazon though. This is the finished product, what it's going to look like. The first thing I do is begin building the pickup. I've got a thin piece of uh, tag board. Um, it's almost like poster board, just a cardboard package. Cut it into a circle, hole punched a couple of holes in it, quarter inch holes. That's a standard hole size. And uh, the magnet fits right in there. I hot glued the magnet into the two circular pieces to make a little spool. Cut a slit on the side and um, put my wire down below, my enameled wire, and then one of the uh, free end is sticking out to the left in this picture. I pushed it through the little slit in the side of the, the cardboard spool that I made. Now I'm winding it up. What I should have done, that free end that's sticking out, it would have been a good idea to tape that down because at one point here it, it flings its way back and gets wrapped up and I had to unwrap things. Here I am taping it properly and then I'm going to wind up the pickup the rest of the way. This is the most tedious part. So I forgot to clip off the ends. I put a little hot glue on there to keep the spool from unraveling, keep the pickup from unraveling. But you can see it's still sitting there on the floor. I kick it around a little bit and then realize a little later that I need to um, unclip it. I also forgot to take it off there for a second. Now I've got a, a, a mono jack. Let me I wonder if I can pause this for a second while I... Nah, can't. And I'm um, sanding the ends of the, the wires on the pickup. I'm going to solder them to the mono jack wires. And then I'll figure out a way to kind of wad up everything on the, the outside of the pickup, making sure that there's no short circuit between the two pickup jack wires. I kind of hot glue it all on there and then I get the bright idea of cutting an extra piece of cardboard to sandwich those wires between. So I'm going to put a bunch of hot glue on there and then add on this this part. Now I'm taking a look at my board making sure it's concave on the top instead of convex. Convex is a problem. Screwing in a couple of screws wrapping some wire around them, tightening them up. I put a wire under one end, I put a nail under the other. The wire is the nut and the nail is the bridge. And now I'm using my ear to to find the notes of a major scale, starting with uh, the open string. So I'm just listening, plucking, listening, making little marks. You could be much more precise by measuring. Although, Sometimes your ear is better because as you press the string down, uh, that changes the tension. So the exact midpoint is not really the midpoint that I marked. So now I'm, I'm just gluing the pickup on. And here's Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Sharps or accidentals. Go ahead.
No, I can do. Oop, better go up an octave. Just realized it would be totally remiss to not include a few of these songs. These are the songs that all my students just immediately, that everybody wants to play these. So here's a few. Smoke on the Water. And then Iron Man. I always mess this up, but it's, um, let's see. Sunshine of Your Love. I think I plucked a little hard on that one. That's all. Once you have this nice dirty 2x4 set up, you can play some little songs with it, like I already showed you. You can play Twinkle. Uh, you can play something in minor key. Also try some harmonies. So I've, I've been trying to work out the harmonies to Bob Dylan's song "Blowing in the Wind." I keep forgetting the words. I've tried this a few times. Hopefully, I'll get it right this time. And I keep playing the wrong notes. So I'm going to go slow this time. Sorry if it's uh, too slow, a little off, either the instrument or my my voice. I don't have frets on here, so it's not going to be very precise. I'm just doing the best I can. Here we go, blowing in the wind. I, I've got to remember, I've got the the roads, the mountain, and then the sky. Okay. How many roads must a man walk down before they call him a man? Yes, and how many seas must the white dove sail before she sleeps in the sand yes and how many times must the cannonballs fly before they're forever banned the answer my friend is blowing in the wind the answer is blowing in the wind how many years must a mountain exist? I know, can a mountain exist? Before it's washed to the sea. And how many years can some people exist? Before they're allowed to be free. And how many times can a man turn his head? And pretend that he just doesn't see The answer, my friend, is blowing in the wind The answer is blowing in the wind How many times can a man look up Before he sees the sky And how many ears must one man have before he can hear people cry? And how many deaths will it take till he knows that too many people have died? The answer, my friend, 
is blowing in the wind. The answer is blowing in the wind. Here's one more look at the finished product. Pick up right here. I just glued it on. I could rip that off. This needs to be near the string. So I've got all this fine wire encased in hot glue and got some stuff sandwiched on the outside. When I started this, I made a little slit on the other side. I stuck a piece of that fine red wire through the slit and had it sticking out. And I wound it and wound it and wound it and cut off the other end and stuck that through the slit so I had two pieces sticking out right here. And I put glue all around. I soldered the two pieces of glue, or sorry, soldered the two free ends of the wire to this yellow wire and that bare wire. So that, um, this is a mono cord. I've just had trouble going from that to this little thing. This is a 1 8 inch jack. This is a little mini amp that's actually made for a three for a one quarter inch jack, but I've got an adapter. And if I use a stereo, um, see this, this has one little black band. If you have two black bands, that's stereo. For some reason, it doesn't work very well with this particular adapter, but it works fine with my radios and stuff. So at any rate, that's, um, that's that. This wire, when you cut into it, if you find a wire like I have, it's going to look like this. And there's this bare wire around the outside. And then there's a coated wire. So what I did is I just put all the bare stuff together and twisted it. And then I um, stripped this. And those are my two leads. So the electricity goes in one way and out the other. And then it goes in this way and out the other. And it just reverses direction. And that's what sends the impulse to the amp. And the amp amplifies it, increases that voltage. Um, the more winds you have in this, the more voltage you get. And then you get even more when it goes through this amplifier. But I digress. So the parts of this, you can see... There's the, the bridge, which is just a nail, and I've finally glued it into place. I've written major and minor because I have my, my notes of a major scale and I'm notes of a minor scale. I'll turn the amp on so you can hear. That's major. That's a minor. And I plug this so I can move this down at the other end for the nut. Just have a piece of a paper clip. And you can see I've got a screw. I could tighten that screw to, to tension it if I wanted to. This whole thing is kind of concave like that. You don't want convex because then your string is going to hit. What else am I missing? I think that's it. I think that's everything.